What's going on gamers? Today, let's go over how to change the difficulty of your Minecraft server. Difficulty in Minecraft is a big, important option, with a direct effect on many parts of the gameplay. In essence, difficulty allows the player or server owner to choose how easy or how hard they want their gameplay experience to be. While the difficulty setting changes many things, the most noticeable effect it has is on the enemies. As the difficulty of the game rises, the enemies will start to spawn at higher rates, and they become much more dangerous. And at the hardest difficulties, certain enemies can even start to break down doors. Let's go over what each difficulty entails and how to change it. Minecraft comes with four difficulty levels, peaceful, easy, normal, and hard. And these can be changed at any time, either by the player in single player or by an operator on a server. As for what each difficulty is, starting with peaceful, enemies can't spawn at all. If an enemy is spawned forcefully using an egg or a spawn command, they will instantly vanish upon spawning. Player health also regenerates quickly, however, it is still possible to die. The hunger meter never depletes, and if changing from any higher difficulty down to peaceful, all hostile and neutral enemies will disappear. This is best for brand new players or players who like to focus on building in the world. With easy, enemies can spawn, but they deal less damage than they would on normal or hard. If the hunger meter depletes, a player's health will tick down until they have 5 hearts left. Enemies like cave spiders can't poison players, zombies can't break down doors, and enemies deal between 0.5 to 1 heart of damage. In normal mode, enemies can also spawn, and they deal between 1 and 1.5 hearts of damage. If the hunger meter depletes, a player's health will tick down until they have 0.5 hearts left, and vindicators can break doors. And finally, in hard, enemies spawn, dealing greater damage than in normal. If the hunger meter depletes here, a player's health will be able to tick down until they die, and zombies can break down wooden doors. The command forward slash difficulty lets you change a Minecraft server's difficulty on the fly without any need for restarts. Keep in mind that you do need to be an operator on your server in order to use this command or have cheap permissions on your single player world. To do this, you're going to want to enter your Minecraft server, open the chat and type in the forward slash difficulty command. And after that, you can type in which difficulty you'd like, peaceful, easy, normal, or hard. For example, if you want to set your server's difficulty to hard, you would type in forward slash difficulty space hard. And that's it, your server's difficulty will automatically set to the one that you chose. Now, if you'd like to change your difficulty without having to enter the server, you can also do so using the server's control panel. There are two ways to do this. You can either issue the difficulty command through the server's console, or you can change it through the configuration file. To use the console, open up your server's control panel and in the top left, click console. And on the next page, in the text entry box below it, Type in the difficulty command together with the difficulty you would like to set it to. For example, if you want to set your server's difficulty to hard, you would type in difficulty, hard, and then press enter, making sure not to add a forward slash at the beginning since the console doesn't recognize these like the game does. To use the config files, open up your server's control panel and then click config files in the top left. Select server settings on the next page and then find the difficulty field and set it to what you want the game difficulty to be. Scroll down and click save, and then restart the server when it prompts you to, to change it in game. The difficulty of a Minecraft server is an important part of the experience, and knowing how to change it on the fly is important. Thankfully, it is quite an easy and quick process, and you don't even have to restart the server to do it. Just make sure you understand what each level of difficulty brings, and you'll be well on your way to perfect gameplay. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.